Yo, what's going on today, guys? It's Sam Samito. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a really, really cool video. I'm going to be talking about what I think Overwatch 2 is going to be, what it's going to entail. I'm going to compare some of the, uh, some of the reports from this article on Kotaku um, about Blizzard axing their project called Ares, which was like a StarCraft 2 FPS game, and putting those resources into Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2. Before I get into that though, sorry for the lack of streams. I've just been super burned out recently with, you know, again, scrimming every night and contend we made contenders, which is really, really good. Our last two trials matches are Saturday at 8 p.m. EST. If you guys can come support us, I'd appreciate it. And Sunday as well. So uh, yeah, if you guys can give us your support, really appreciate it. But yeah, let's get into this video because there's a lot I wanna talk about. So first off, uh, the article where these leaks, or not leaks, or, or report, this report happened um, is gonna be down in the description. This is a really big deal, guys. I want you all to, thank you for the sub, bro. Um, I want you guys to understand, this is a really good, uh, really good. All right, sorry about that, guys. I freaked out because I saw there's a new Borderlands 2 DLC coming like in two days and I just flipped. But back to this article, okay? So shoot, uh, Blizzard cancels StarCraft first-person shooter to focus on Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2. This is a really, really big deal. So I'm gonna read a little bit of this for you real quick and then we're gonna jump into it, okay? Blizzard has canceled a StarCraft first-person shooter that is that had been in development for the past two years, according to three people familiar with what's going on at the studio. The main reason Blizzard told staff was to put more resources into the, to, into the Diablo and Overwatch franchises. This project, which is codenamed Ares, was described to me like, like a battlefield in the StarCraft universe. Um, when asked for a comment, I'm gonna skip the rest of this part. Um, Blizzard sent over a lengthy and non-specific statement, which you can read down below. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, no one was laid off because of this, which is really, really good. They just reallocated their resources away from a new project to focus on Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4. I'm not going to talk much about Diablo 4, but I am going to talk a lot about Overwatch 2. So what can we expect from Overwatch 2, and is it a good idea? Personally, I think it's great. Uh, you know, I thought maybe it could have been a year or two later, to be honest with you, because my guess is, is they're going to announce it at BlizzCon this year, and they're not going to do an Overwatch original expansion. That means that this game is going to have to come out roughly around the fourth anniversary of Overwatch, because let's be real, this game needs help, and it needs it now. It's been on a downhill trend for two years with poor metas, in my opinion, poor balance patches. And well, I mean, some of the balance patches were good, but like there's always one big problem with the Overwatch meta that doesn't get fixed very quickly. It was Brig for six straight balance patches, six straight nerfs, and she's still better than she should be in my opinion. I think that character needs a full on rework. The ranked mode is just literally not functional. We've talked about this. We did get workshop though and replays, which are both good. And maybe that's something gearing up towards the next game but it's not the big ranked overhaul that we need. A lot of the people want to play this game competitively and you simply aren't getting the experience that you paid for when playing the ranked mode. It's casual players mixed with competitive players and it just does not fit well for a game mode to be functional. I want to talk a little bit about what they what they said Overwatch 2 would have. Apparently, it's going to have a very big PvE aspect, which is really, really good. That's something I personally and many, many other people have really wanted to see in Overwatch because there's all this amazing backstory with the game that does not get explored at all with actual gameplay other than the archives of it. We have all these beautiful animated shorts, these 29, almost maybe 30 now, I forget how many characters are in the game, but really, really it, thorough characters with a lot of interesting stories behind them that is not explored at all in games. So imagine this, I, I want you guys to imagine this because apparently it's lengthy. So I saw this on Twitter, I think it was Reagan who tweeted this out. Uh, she does uh, social media for the hunters, the Chengdu hunters, and I, I really like this idea. Imagine you know, you have to take on the world. Like, there's like an Overwatch side and a Talon side, right? And you as Overwatch agents have to infiltrate all kinds of Talon, like, operations across the world. And you have to uncover the truth about, you know, what actually is going on with the world. Because, you know, there's a lot of... Um, speculation about you know somebody is pulling the strings behind it all and that's like that was sombra's big backstory right is like somebody even behind talent above talent and above overwatch could have like created the entire omnic war just something like that right like where we could really dive into a a pve-esque campaign storyline of overwatch that is super super thorough and really really interesting I think there's a lot of potential with this, and I'm gonna tie this PVE into the new mode section of Overwatch 2 as one of the big things that Overwatch 2 will need. We will need several new game modes uh, that are not just PVP, that have PVE, uh, 
you know, a ranked overhaul, maybe different competitive modes. Like we're gonna tie all of that in together and just say, all of these things should be new modes just to make the game much more thorough and really expand upon the horizons of the game the same way that Overwatch Workshop did. So we would need several new modes. Let's put that to the side for now. Let's talk a little bit about what we would need to get people into the game. For one, I think it should be free to play, especially at least for people who have purchased Overwatch, the original game. I don't like the concept of charging people for what they honestly should get anyway, <laughs> um, because these patches should have come to ranked as is, and uh, they just haven't. So let's say that you know this game will be free to play. And before you freak out and say, dude, Sam, You've, you've said this game needs to be free to play before. There's gonna be infinite Smurfs. We can't deal with it. The reason why this game needs to go free to play is because if you wanna compete with the most successful titles in the world and look at Fortnite, look at Apex. I mean, I know Apex is on a downhill trend, but specifically look at Fortnite. They turned the model for the gaming industry on its head and they made more money than anybody else and they have the most successful game since Minecraft first came out. So they have, they have the game of the decade currently. If Fortnite, with their cosmetics, which are, their cosmetics are pretty good, I'll grant them that, can, can make a model work, bring that many active users around the world just by selling cosmetics, there is absolutely no way that Blizzard cannot do the same. Blizzard are the best in the world at making a polished product. And to have Overwatch be free would bring a ton of active users. We'd find way more people coming in. And if more people come in, that means there's gonna be more support for the game better player base, less Smurfs, because if there's cell phone verification, which would be a requirement, right? They're like you have to verify by phone and maybe a secondary source as well, if you wanna play ranked or may maybe not quick play, maybe not just make the account, but if you wanna play ranked, it should have to be cell phone uh, verification. If, you, if those things happen, you will have less Smurfs in your game. People will not throw games because they'll only be able to play on one account and then if they get banned on that account, that's it. They'll take ranked more seriously and then you'll have more quality experience. Yes, there will be more accounts, but those will actually be at more active users and not extra Smurfs where somebody throws your game, you report them, they get banned, they just swap to a new account and throw your game again. Like that won't happen anymore. And that would be a really, really good thing for the game. If more players come, then more content creators come because if there's more people playing the game that have interest in the game, there'll be more people who wanna watch content. I also think that Overwatch 2 should have a supporter creator program the same way that Fortnite does to where, you know, you actually encourages creators to make more content on the game that's why there's so you see so many creators on fortnite guys i don't know if y'all know this but that their creator codes make them a lot of revenue and if they if, if playing a certain game that's beautiful and fun makes creators a lot of revenue way more of them will stick around that's why you see so many youtubers on fortnite because it really it really is the best monetized video game for everybody of all time they turn the model on its head and they did a great job with that. I think that Overwatch and Blizzard should definitely adapt the successful aspects of their model and put it into Overwatch 2. All right, so now we have like the business model and, and the aesthetics of the game with free to play, supported creator and stuff done. What else would this game need? Personally, I think we're gonna see a major character bundle come out, right? We will see four or five new characters get released with this game that were kind of planned for the expansion. Cause I, like I said, I had heard that there was gonna be an expansion this year that they had canceled Overwatch 2 to do this expansion. And then they, I guess Overwatch 2 is coming back. Like I've heard different things from different people, but the most like the, the, the most uh, recurring statement is that there will be something big coming at BlizzCon. So keep your eyes open, make sure you all, by the way, y'all should go to BlizzCon because I'm going and I want to meet as many of you guys as I can. But no, BlizzCon is going to be really crazy this year. So definitely be looking out for that. So we should expect to see a bunch of new characters come out with this game. Hopefully it's free. You know, I, there, there's no real way to tell, but I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously take everything I said in this video, the grain of salt. Nothing's confirmed at this point. The only way to find out is just wait for Blizzard to, you know, Say what they're gonna say and do what they're gonna do and we're just gonna have to be along for the ride, guys. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is all I really have to say on the subject for now. I think Overwatch 2 definitely is a good thing though because this game needs something big to turn it around. And I think a new release of a, of a, of a second version with an improved engine that they said they were gonna do. They said they were gonna like kind of do what Call of Duty does and uh, really amp up the engine every couple of years, which I think will be good because Blizzard, are, are, they already do a great job and uh, Overwatch is one of the best optimized games of all time, so. I'm really confident that they'll they'll nail that. The question is, are they gonna nail uh, the balance patches? Maybe we'll get some big CC nerfs and hacks and, and all that stuff and you just get out of the game. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out.
Tutu Kika the South Wind.